I selected the project name newsbio.lcdi square c. We also have a project name newsbio.lcd which handle a regular LCD. We have a video for that on YouTube. As you're going to see, there is not that much difference in terms of source code between the two projects. In the component project, we have an interface name iLiquid Crystal here. And then we have two implementations. The first run for regular LCD. And here, the second one for an LCD managed with an I2C chip. The LCD screen has 20 columns and 4 rows, and the I2C ID is 027. I will let you look at the rest of the source code on GitHub. Let's run the app. I'm going to request the API demo. In real life, the blue background is much prettier and the quality of the screen is really good, but the camera just doesn't get it right. And now I like to show you the custom character. With this kind of LCD, you can define up to four custom characters. The first character here is one that I created in my code. And this one is part of the extended character supported by the LCD screen. In conclusion, I2C LCD are much easier to wire. We support regular LCD and I2C LCD. We support for now only the I2C chip PCF8574, but adding another chip support is not very difficult. All the source code is on GitHub.